Hi, my name is Rob Kerr. I'm a photographer at the newspaper The Bulletin. Uh, I've been working here for 13 years, and it's a lot of fun at the end of every year to uh, take a look at some of my favorite pictures of the year. Uh, this first picture was simply an attraction to good light. Uh, I was driving over Santa Ann Pass. I saw the good light. I knew there was activity at the Santa Ann Snow Park, and I, I quickly pulled in there and, and, and saw patterns of light and shadow and, and families having fun and, and that formula just is one of the neatest things for me in photography. The next picture is from the uh, BCS National Championship game and uh, I was lucky enough in the fourth quarter to have this play happen on my side of the field. Um, in, in sports sometimes things just happen out of your control in another part of the field and with my goal to make a kind of iconic image of the game the Ducks being so close and Auburn's just barely stopping them certainly uh, made for a dramatic game and a dramatic picture. This picture uh, I made in Crescent City, California after the tsunami hit Japan. It then cruised all the way across the Pacific Ocean and smashed into the, the West Coast, um, particularly Crescent City where we have a, another paper. Uh, that town is more vulnerable to tsunamis. It sticks out a little bit and this little marina got beat up to no end by the by the huge waves and uh, this is where we met Bob Markin. His boat behind him, uh, you can see the bow of it sticking out of the water underneath the stern of another boat. Uh, his boat was one of the many that sank that day. This next picture highlights another point of view um, in photography. It's a lot of fun sometimes just to look at things in a different way. In this particular picture I used a remote controlled camera set up underneath the jump. I understood how the event was going to happen. It was a Super D event, which is a, a mountain biking downhill event. Uh, and I knew that they were going to be going over this particular jump. It was part of a, a course. But I was really taken back that this mountain bike group was, was competing onto a, a golf course, which was a unique uh, collaboration. So. I timed uh, my shutter release on this remote camera by photographing with another camera. Um, I'm actually seen in this picture in the lower left by the yellow tape. I'm laying down on the ground. I'm wearing a green fleece jacket. And I'm taking a picture with one camera. And that camera is sending a signal to the remote camera underneath the jump. And I actually have two frames of this exact moment from two different perspectives. Obviously, this perspective is, is a more engaging perspective than, than the one we used in the newspaper. On a hot Monday afternoon in June, we got a phone call in the newsroom that some people were playing volleyball in the shallow Mirror Pond in downtown Bend. It didn't take me very long once I got out there to find a different point of view that, that showed um, kind of a little slice of community where people, you know, on a hot summer day go out and play in the water. Uh, it, seemed like a, a positive, fun experience, and, and uh, although they were on center stage for most everyone passing by, um, they uh, just genuinely were having fun, and I thought that was an important picture to have to make. Information helps us tremendously with making good pictures. In this case, I was spending a day uh, covering the Warm Springs fire, and the information officer I was with was told about a DC-10 um, being ordered to make fire retardant drops. Uh, we recognized right away that that was a little bit unusual um, and I asked if we could get into position to photograph that. It took about an hour or so for us to get to the right location um, and time it with the with the DC-10 but it was an amazing experience to see a, a giant jet slow down, fly super low over a ridge line and, uh, and, and drop the retardant. Um, we've seen and photographed countless times this happening with a, a propellered aircraft, but a, a jet airplane, a DC-10, um, the way it moved was just uh, amazing to see. And, and obviously the, the amount of retardant it was dropping was extremely effective for fighting that fire. Sports is so hard sometimes. It's such drama. Sometimes it's glee. Sometimes it's it's suspense, sometimes it's the heartbreak of loss. Uh, we know in hindsight that this this particular photo has to do with the loss. Um, Summit Storm, who was preferred in a game against Wilsonville in the playoffs, uh, ends up losing in a shootout. 
Um, so that's the storytelling element of the picture, but ultimately it's a sports picture that shows, shows the suspense of a shootout. Um, it's amazing to watch one kick after another kick. Whatever it is, you know that everyone in the stands is on the edge of their seats. And so in a situation like that, you have the option of photographing the action or the reaction. And uh, it was easy for me to turn the lens on the reaction to tell the story. Uh, and, and the faces here do that. There's suspense and, and sorrow and, and hope all in the same picture. Uh, which uh, is kind of some of the amazing things I love about sports. This final picture is a, a picture of a cyclocross race in Bend, Oregon this fall. And like the very first picture I showed you, this was a matter of just waiting for the right event to happen in the light that I wanted. And, and that happened when these riders came through in a group around a corner, um, which helped kick up the dust, which made the sunburst, the setting sun, look a little stronger than it was, but uh, I thought that it captured some of the uh, twisted beauty of that sport, which I, I do love so much.